Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to my new office where I have been spending the last 10 days working on video ideas, future projects, pre-recorded videos, which is what you are about to see. I've currently got the edit right here on my laptop. Because I went down to McLaren Hatfield, which is part of the Grange Group, to test drive the McLaren 600 LT Spider. Now there were two main objectives to get out of this video. One, to work out whether a hardcore track focused supercar could be the road trip companion that I'm gonna be needing in 2020, but also to run through some finance quotes that Magnitude Finance had sent over to me of all of the cars that we had already test driven. Now, obviously things have slightly changed since then. If you saw my Q&A, you would have seen and now know that my 200,000 pound budget might be going down because everything that's happening in this world, budgets are being shifted around. But I still wanted to get this video out because driving a 600 LT Spider on a beautiful day with dry tarmac is a, a, a sight to behold and you will see just how much fun I had in this video. So we start on a single lane country road, but well, the video just didn't start very well. on these road trips where I will either get lost or have to deal with roads like this. on those terrifying roads. Let's get into business. Whoa. I need a car that not necessarily is comfortable but gets my heart racing. It gets the blood pumping. It is or needs to be a bit of a Grand Tourer because I'm gonna be doing thousands of miles in this car all across Europe and I'm gonna be hitting towns, I'm gonna be hitting cities, I'm gonna be hitting country roads, mountain roads, all types of weather systems. I need the most well-rounded car ever. I don't even know whether this car exists. I think I'm gonna to have to compromise on a few things. And today, I've got the opportunity of driving this car, being an out and out supercar, as to whether this is the car that I should be taking or whether this is the mold of car that I should be taking. I'm gonna use the 600 LT as a basis as to whether I can discount or go shopping for a Hurricane Performante as well. They fundamentally do the same thing, lightweight, track focused, loads of power, loads of soul and passion with very limited practicality. This is much more practical than a Hurricane Performante. But as performance goes and pulling my heartstrings, for sure. Oh my god, I went through warp speed on that acceleration. Let's do it again. <laughs> you can tell 
know why people buy these cars. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifyingly fast. Oh, it's the noise as well. This is why I'd buy a Spider in 600LT form over a coupe because you get to drop this rear window. You get all of the rigidity of the coupe, you don't lose any performance. But the sound is enhanced, therefore the character of the car is enhanced. And I have to say, yes we were driving the DBS and 720S in the wet. This is soon becoming the best car that I've driven. Oh my god, the noise of this thing is absolutely phenomenal. And um, to be honest, I'm in the, the middle ground seats on the 600 LT. You can get the center carbon seats, which are probably a little bit too uncomfortable for long distances. These are the, the sports bucket seats. The, the, they come from the 675 LT and then you've got the Comfort 570 SEs, which you just don't want on a car that handles this well, because on the mountain roads, you will get thrown from side to side, and you do need a little bit of stability, and these seats provide that with a little bit of comfort as well. Just preparing myself. Those upshift whip cracks are so loud and go through my entire body on every shift. This is why I have a McLaren itch. Oh! Now there was a plan of this video to find a nice quiet place to pull over, pop the doors up and do <laughs> talk, talk about my decision of what car I'm going to buy based on finance that Magnitude Finance have supplied me. Now we're going off really basic figures and the way that the calculator works, it feeds all of the information and gives you back a very sort of general figure that then you can go back into Magnitude and email them directly and get the right deposit, monthly payments, balloon, interest rate percentage and everything associated to a finance package when it comes to buying a car like this. And I have got Hurricane Evo, Lamborghini Urus, 720S and DBS ready and waiting to give you guys finance, I'm going to say finance options on those cars so that together we can make the decision as to what is the best car for the money. And I'm going to do that as soon as I find a quiet place to pull over because I've gone a little bit off piste. Well, I've now pulled over. I've found a quiet location to be able to rattle through some of the finance quotes that I got three weeks ago. Now, obviously, these are now out of date and I'm speaking to Magnitude Finance on a daily basis, running through my options, having a look at different cars on Auto Trader. You may have seen my tweet as well, looking at 150,000 pounds, but splitting it into an ultimate two car garage, Audi R8 V10 Plus, R35 Nissan GTR, or Lamborghini Huracan BMW M2. There are so many options out there, so please get in the comments, go onto my Instagram and ask away what you would spend 150,000 pounds on, on two cars, because that Ford Focus ST is also gonna be going in mid-April, so I'm also in need of a daily. But let's quickly rattle through these monthly payments just so that you can get an idea of what we are dealing with, Eurus, 720S, DBS, and Hurricane Evo. Starting with Aston Martin DBS, which is the cheapest car that comes out on the monthly payments, 1,600 pounds, 1,600 pounds per month. That is over a four year deal. They're all over four year deals with 10% deposit. So it's a 17,000 pound deposit because the car is 170,000 pounds and it's coming out at 1,600 pounds 
and the balloon is £117,000. At the end of the four years, that is what you are left to pay on the car. DBS, cheapest out of the bunch. We then move on to the McLaren 720S, which is £157,000. Now you can get 720Ss for £140,000 now, but at £157,000, you're looking at obviously a £15,000 deposit. That's coming out at just under 1,800 quid a month, 1,800 pounds, because the balloon is much less. After four years, you've got 88,000 pounds to pay. Deposit, balloon, you finance the bit in the middle. At the end of the agreement, you've got the balloon to pay. If the balloon is lower, then obviously your, your chunk that you're financing is bigger, therefore your monthly payments are bigger. We then move on to Lamborghini, Urus, at 202,000 pounds. You're obviously gonna be putting in a 20,000 pound deposit, again, over four years. And that's coming out at 2,300 pounds. So 700 pounds a month more to drive a Urus than a DBS, which immediately discounts the Lamborghini Urus. Hurricane Evo at 200,000 pounds, which, is quite cheap because new, they're about 240,000 pounds, but you can also get the Hurricane Evo rear wheel drive at about 190,000 pounds. So I've gone smack bang in the middle, 200,000 pound, 20,000 pound deposit, obviously over four years again, and that's coming out at 1,900 pounds a month, 1,900 pounds, which is a hell of a lot of money for a Lamborghini Hurricane. As great as a car is, I can't help but think you can get a used one for £130,000, you can get a used rear wheel drive LP580 for £130,000, your monthly payments will be quite a lot less than that, leaving you with more money to modify it. And at the moment, that is exactly where my head's at. But don't get me wrong, I had so much fun driving the McLaren 600 LT, and you can get them on Auto Trader for £140,000, £145,000 now. So, I will leave it there because cars and car finance are currently in a very, very unstable environment, as is the rest of the world. So I've actually been advised by Magnitude Finance to not purchase anything yet, but to keep an eye on all of the deals that are out there because I've seen a lot of direct messages on Instagram and I've been speaking to a lot of you talking about all of the deals that could potentially exist at the end of all of this. So. I had a lot of fun driving the 600 LT. There will be some more videos coming very soon. Maybe I'm gonna delve into the world of auto trader, talk to you a little bit about business, but seeing as we are all locked inside, it is an opportunity for me to work on new projects and to create videos like this, where I just get to sit down, chat with you guys, and we run through a few fun ideas. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you're staying safe, staying healthy, staying inside and not going crazy. I will see you soon. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for the next video that I've got to edit, which is me driving the new Hurricane Evo rear wheel drive. I'll see you then. Take care. Goodbye.